welcome back guys uh, today I thought I'd uh, do a short video on a particular screensaver that I like now this particular screensaver um, I've installed it on several LCDs with no issue however I did install it on my iMac um, which has a very glossy monitor it's the all-in-one computer that you can buy from Apple and it's got a very glossy shiny monitor I I put this screensaver on that monitor and I did have some burn in so I ended up having to uh, run a white screen <clears throat> for a while to uh, blend that in um, so while I do enjoy using this uh, this screensaver you'll need to just be careful if you have a regular LCD a matte type screen um, I've used it on a few of those with no issues at all but just be careful if you have a glossy screen um, I would not run it and if you are gonna run it on your LCD run it for a little while and just double check it but uh, I'm not having any issues on uh, normal LCD computer monitors so let me show you the screensaver and then I'll show you how to install it. So if I go to system and screensaver, this is the one I'm talking about. It's called Gluclo, G-L-U-Q-L-O. And um, it's been around for a while. It's got a version for Windows. It's got a version for Mac. Um, so I'm running it now it used to install pretty easy using a PPA in Ubuntu um, but the PPA no longer functions with the, the latest versions of Ubuntu so I'll show you the um, the manual install method and then you can decide whether you want to try it but again um, be forewarned you'll need to test it out just to make sure that you don't have any issues I'm not having any issues at all and it it's on the LCD monitors, so um, but better to be safe than sorry. Okay, so this screensaver has been around around for a long time. It's not new, and I'm going I'm going to show you. I'm going to pop over into a new install of Zubuntu 18.10, and I'll show you how to install it from scratch. So be right back, guys. Okay, guys. Uh, now I'm here in Zubuntu 18.10. And the installation process for the screensaver is pretty easy. Let me show you that. Now this, this works in the, all of the Ubuntu and Debian um, distributions I have found. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll tell you the uh, Arch Linux install process, which is a little bit easier. So the first thing you'll need to do is make sure that you have the essential files that you'll need. And these are dependencies and requirements. So I'll put this in the into the show notes. And so you'll just copy the uh, install command. We'll put that in my terminal and I'll go ahead and install that. Now you're also going to need to install X Screen Saver and the the data extra and GL extra files. Uh, and that'll be in the show notes also. All of this will be in the show notes. So I'm gonna go ahead once this finishes installing and I'm going to install X screensaver and the process is pretty easy um, but if you just take it one step at a time off my instructions then you should be fine Okay, so now that's installing. Now, 
we're going to have to go to the website of the uh, creator of this screensaver. I've got the web address right here. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to plug that into my browser. <clears throat> now, once you get to the GitHub site, you're going to click on Clone or Download, and then download the zip file. So I'm going to put that in my Downloads folder. Once that's downloaded, I can close out my browser. Now everything is installed. What we're going to do is we're going to go to, and, and again, these are all in the instructions. We're going to go to the file that we downloaded. Now mine is in my Downloads folder. There it is. And now this has worked when I've extracted it into my Downloads folder or my Home folder. So I'm going to extract it into my home folder and if I go to my home folder there should be a Gluclo master you see that okay so now we are going to make and make install so we're gonna open that folder right click open terminal here and then you will copy the command and run that okay so now that has run now what you want to do is you, we need to create an X screensaver configuration file so we're going to open X screensaver just briefly and there it is okay so now it is running I'm going to close it out because all we needed to do was get that configuration file so now we're going to go to our home folder make sure you enable show hidden files and then we're going to open up the dot x screensaver file I'm going to open with leaf pad now what we're going to do here is just modify this file slightly now you're going to go down, scroll down to all the GL files. These are all the screensavers that are installed. So let's go down to alphabetically right after let's go right after Galaxy. Okay. So I'm going to shoot over and I'm going to open up a new line then move your cursor under the G in Galaxy and then type in this here so you're gonna type in GLU QLO space dash root go to the end and you're gonna duplicate what's above it so you're gonna go forward slash and I'm sorry backslash and backslash save the file you can close that out now open up screensaver go to only one screensaver and alphabetically just scroll up and find glue glow you see it right there now that's the screensaver in 24 hour mode. You can go to settings and change it to 12 hour mode if you live in the United States. And click OK. okay and they're going to see now it shows an AM and a PM. And that is, that's it. That's as simple as it gets. The, um, as I said, I've, I've, I like the screensaver because it, it has a function. It shows me the time. When I walk into the room, the time is displayed. Um, but again, you want to make sure that you test it on your monitor.
before you uh, install it. And also, uh, well, you can't test it before you install it. But um, if you have a glossy monitor, I would not install it. If you have a matte uh, standard LCD monitor, I haven't had any uh, problems with it, but I would go ahead and install it and just run it for an hour or a couple of hours and see if you see any shadows developing. Uh, I wouldn't uh, take a chance beyond that. Okay, so guys, that is the GlueClo screensaver. So guys, thank you very much for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.